Rocket Girl coming at you with more movie reviews. This is Spell. This is creepy as all flippin' get out. I mean, you it, it's a whole you don't know who's involved, you don't know who to trust, you don't know what's going on. And it's one of those things where you kind of root for the main character, but you're kind of like, yeah, well, no, I, I'm good, you're, you're kind of uppity. Anyway, I'm going to give it a 4 on my scarometer just for authenticity. And those who know my channel know what I mean <laughs> when, when, when I say that. Anyway, it starts out with this guy, his name's Mark, he grew up, became a big lawyer person, whatever, and all famous and proud and whatnot, completely forgot about his heritage and all that. Well, he gets word that his dad passed away. So, him and his family, they have a personal private plane that he flies, uh, go out to, uh, to have the funeral and whatnot. Well, problem is, they get out in a storm and they get hit by lightning and go down. Mark wakes up in a bed in the attic of this old house of these people. Miss Eloise. And Lord help us all, Miss Eloise is the sweetest little apple pie woman you ever gonna meet. I said what I said. And all he wants to know is where his family is. And granted, they're being very evasive of what's going on, where's their family, where's this, where's that, what's going on with our feet, What? why can't, what, have I been hurt, have they been killed, what's going on. And it's just this whole big old mess. And then they bring in the real thing about all this. Hoodoo. Backwoods. Deep, 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 deep backwoods. Voodoo, hoodoo, magic. And then there's the boogity doll. Which is, in a sense... How do I put this? It, in, in a sense, it's... A voodoo doll, but it's not. You make it of yourself, or they make it of you to give you attributes. Like, a blind person goes to Miss Eloise, they make a boogity doll of him, and they take the eyes of goat, and all of a sudden the man can see. He has goat eyes, which, creepy as they are, guess it's better than not seeing. But yeah, and they had this whole congregation of people that are helping them. Like I said, it's a who can you trust, who done it, who didn't do it, what's going on type of a deal. And he has to reach way, way, way back in his childhood and his background, because he grew up in this area, to figure out how to outsmart these guys. And it's an actually really good movie. I enjoyed it quite a lot. It's creepy. Um, definitely not for under 18. I will say that for one scene mainly, but yeah. It has nothing to do with happy fun time, but yeah. Y'all let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Let me know if there's anything else y'all want me to review. Give me a like and you subscribe. We will see y'all later.